Hello, what's up? Ali here, and today we are going to jailbreak our PS3 using Hen Exploit. But unfortunately, since uh, PS3 exploit.com is down, we have uh, to use a separate or a different domain for us to jailbreak our PS3. And to those who are not yet aware, PS3 exploit.com is like the domain or the website that provides us all of our hand and cfw needs and since it's down for the past week those who want to jailbreak their ps3 is kind of lost because this is like the only way we can jailbreak our ps3 without the needs of any hardware flasher so what we're going to do today is uh, we are going to use a separate host or domain that is also being managed by the same ps3 exploit team but since uh, this is just temporary we don't know how long will it uh, stay up running or will it go back to the previous uh, host or domain but um just be sure to subscribe on our channel so uh, you'll be one of the first to be notified on the developments on our or on the domain of a uh, ps3 exploit so let us go ahead now and proceed to our video for our hybrid firmware just open the link that we are going to provide uh, in the description and it will uh, take you directly to our file just save it anywhere you want and uh, prepare a USB thumb drive uh, where you will receive uh, the firmware and uh, install it on your PS3. For our storage, uh, make sure that the, your USB thumb drive or external hard drive is formatted to FAT32. And uh, create a folder named PS3 all capitalized on the root of your storage. Then uh, inside the folder PS3, create another folder, update all capitalized. And here on, in this folder update, we are going to save uh, the update that we have just downloaded for our hybrid firmware just extract it here and uh, this is the extracted update so we are going to save this uh, in the folder update inside the folder ps3 in case you have uh, downloaded a uh, update file with a, a different file name make sure that this is the file name that you are going to use ps3 update that pup otherwise it won't uh, be recognized by your ps3 so once uh, you have uh, downloaded your hfw on your um, thumb drive it's now time for us to install our hfw on our ps3 once you have uh, prepared uh, your usb thumb drive with our hfw we just have uh, to make sure that the auto update feature of your ps3 is turned off you can find that in the under the system settings and automatic updates make sure that this is turned off and once it's turned off you may now go ahead and install our hfw under update via storage media and you will see here the hybrid firmware that is installed on your usb thumb drive if you are getting an error here or you don't see the update file then that means that you may have installed or transferred the update file on the wrong folder or your usb thumb drive must be on a different format so make sure that usb thumb drive is formatted on fat 32 and that your hybrid firmware or your update firmware is saved inside the update folder inside the ps3 folder all capitalized and once you have done everything you may now go ahead and update or install your hybrid firmware ps3 reboots uh, just make sure you are connected online because we have uh, to connect on a website to be able to download all of the files that we need so on the network settings just connect to your um, wi-fi settings or just connect to your wi-fi and uh, once you are connected to your wi-fi just go to the network browser on the internet browser just press triangle to enter the tools and uh, on the tools confirm browser close make sure it's off turned off then uh, home page make sure it's uh, using the blank page then okay then uh, delete everything that you see there's a delete so there are four deletes options here make sure you, that you delete everything and to make sure that we have uh, cleared our cache just uh, exit the browser and enter again 
and from here you may now press start and enter the website that we are going to use to download our files which is the ps3 exploit.me and you here you will see a message or a notice that this is just uh, a temporary domain so again uh, to make sure that you are updated on uh, all of the developments just make sure you are subscribed to our channel and i will make sure you get all of the necessary updates for our ps3 exploit team and from here on the upper part of uh, the screen choose a ps3 hen and a hen auto installer and it will take you to a different page and just download the file that will be prompted then click on auto install hand in case you are getting an error on this part so uh, you may press triangle here and tools and on the home page you may choose a current and press ok so you may actually uh, exit this part go back to the browser it will take you to this uh, part automatically so it will save us some uh, memory on our ps3 and just wait for it to install there so once uh, the hand has successfully been installed uh, it will uh, take you outside the browser automatically after the download it will automatically install uh, our hand And once it's done, you can reboot your PS3. It's already um, jailbroken. Or you can just go into the remote play and exit. And after that, congratulations, you have now successfully installed hand or jailbroken your PS3. So you can enable your hand here. Just click on uh, this uh, icon and it will automatically install or activate your hand. And from here, you may now be able to install the packages you want to install on your PS3. So let us go ahead and install our Multiman. After you have successfully installed it, you will now be able to install more applications and games on your PS3. But uh, since the current status of our domain is uh, still temporary, there are still a lot of features uh, that are still missing. So uh, one of those are the tools for the CFW. Even if the model of your PS3 supports CFW, unfortunately, you won't be able to install CFW using our current domain. Though you can still use uh, hardware flashers for the job, but uh, for the current status of our PS3 exploit, we still have to wait for them to port all of the tools from the previous domain. This is it for our video. In case you still have some questions uh, or suggestions, uh, please uh, do let me know on our comment sections, or you can also reach me on my Facebook page, uh, and I will leave the link in our description. And if you found this video helpful, please do leave me a thumbs up and please do subscribe and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.